Robert Monroe here, and if I had to boil down in a nutshell what these videos are really about, it's about sharing information that is really very obvious, but nobody really talks about and mentions and has been helpful to me and I hope will be helpful to you. So let's get into it. So basically today I wanted to talk about your job and working and really share the insight that I was thinking about today, which is no one really gets hired to do what they went to school for. Nobody gets really hired to do what their skills are. They almost always get hired or maybe a better way of putting it is not getting hired, stay in their job and get new connections and thrive because of things that are not what is their major skill. So for example, I am a piano player and a piano teacher, but I would say one of the main reasons why I've been successful during all the pandemic stuff is because of me being able to do the tech stuff and Zoom and set up audio interfaces and troubleshoot audio issues and technology issues. These things are huge right now. So much of my lessons are actually teaching kids about email and about technology just as much as about piano. It's similar when I walk into a church setting and I'm the ringer, so basically the hired in musician to help them for a worship service. If I came in and thought that my job was just to play the piano really well, that is a very tiny bit of it, and I would be sorely mistaken and do a bad job. So let's break that down for a second. Uh, you have to understand how in-ear systems work. You need to be able to be gracious when you're talking with other musicians. Typically, you have to know the songs better than you would have to if it was a full-on professional band because you need to be able to anticipate and help the volunteers as well as be able to play your own parts. So basically, what I'm really adding up to is the skills that are more general and our more just broad life skills are actually what make the difference in most jobs and most settings that we're in. And I'm not positive why we don't teach that and make that more obvious. Like when you show up on time, for example, that makes a huge statement. But it's not just professionalism stuff. It's troubleshooting and it's silly troubleshooting too. Like, how many times have you shown up to a gig and they have a weird audio problem? Just knowing the basics, knowing what gain is, knowing the difference between gain and volume, knowing what compression is, these things can add up when you're on an audio gig. Or when you're doing tech stuff, knowing the different parts of a computer, knowing, you know, uh, how wired versus wireless internet works and how to troubleshoot that. Like, you don't need to know all these things, but it does help to have some of these that you are comfortable and you're aware of so you can really be an asset and help out who you're around. Now, I'm probably rambling at this point, and in reality, the main point that I wanted to make is I just think it's fascinating that I never talk to somebody and they're just like, oh, yeah. I am a ukulele player and all I do is I play ukulele and people pay me lots of money to play ukulele. That's just not how it works. You can talk to the most specific human being ever on a job and they'll tell you some story about how they made a hamburger for somebody and it was so amazing that that got them the job where now they play guitar all the time. It might be something weird like that, but I'm just making this up. But you get my idea here. So like if you like this video, comment if you think I'm right. Comment if you don't think I'm right. If you think that no, you actually do exactly the job that you are signed up for. I know it's kind of an ad hominem. Well, that's not quite right, but you get what I mean. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thanks so much. If you didn't, well, Maybe just stay tuned for tomorrow. You might like that one better. And I'll catch you guys later. All right, bye.